you can see Joy and Megan are not here today, but Anna is. One for the price of two. There you go. <laughs> and I also want to mention, we want to mention, because as it turns out, we were also these things. It's International Day of the Girl. Yeah. And we are all wearing uh, She Can bracelets, because it allows girls to stay in school during their periods, which around the world is something that is not always allowed. Mm -hmm. uh, Studio Samuel does uh, that with the purchase yeah. of these bracelets, and each bracelet is tagged with the Ethi Ethiopian Amharic word for empowered, and on the reverse, it's in English. So if you want more information, go to our website. But let's celebrate girls. Yeah. yeah. Let's celebrate. <laughs> and now to this. <laughs> Two associates of Rudy Giuliani, who helped him dig up some dirt on the Bidens in the Ukraine and allegedly funneled money into the Republican campaigns, including you know who's, were arrested on conspiracy charges. And the White House has already gone on the defensive. Take a look. I don't know those gentlemen. You're in pictures. Now it's with possible him. I have a picture with them because I have a picture with everybody. I have a picture with everybody here. But uh, somebody said there may be a picture or something where at a fundraiser or somewhere. Are you concerned that Giuliani be in all of this? Well, I hope not. Again, I don't know how he knows these people. <laughs> <laughs> so... Okay, so it, it, how hairy is this? I mean, I'm not how, sure hairy is the right word to use. Well, I can't Trump use the word I want to use. I can't use the word I'd really rather use because it's 11 a.m. and kids are home. But um, what is this? It's, I, think it's, I think it's pretty bad uh, for Giuliani. I don't know how you're sleeping well at night right now if you're him. The biggest mistake that he made is assuming that President Trump is loyal. Because the minute yeah. that he makes Trump look bad, he is going to be tossed right to the curb. Yeah. Look at how many people Manafort, the Michael Cohen, yeah. and I can already hear the president saying, I barely knew the guy. Mm -hmm. I, he just went on television for me. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Here's what I will say. And next week he will be the coffee boy. Right. But yeah. you know what? People, there are many people, though, that believe what the president mm -hmm. is saying. You had last night two different things happening. The, the LGBTQ event at CNN, and then the president was doing a rally we haven't seen in a long time. Over 20,000 people showed up at this rally. Not a lot, babe. It was packed. No, 20, it was. It was twenty thousand. It filled, not a lot it filled, in one of those. It filled the rabbits. center, though, that he had, and there were thousands apparently outside as well. I'm just saying his base is is still very much alive and well. His approval rating. Look at any poll; it's between forty and forty nine percent. Is that so, the lowest though for pre at this? At a no, other presidents have this, been this, this this low as well. This, uh, uh, but that's just my overall. It's like we can think that the walls are coming down, or they're or they're closing in on him. And Giuliani may end up in a bad place overall. But where it stands right now, I think it's going to be really hard to convince Mitch McConnell and, and Republicans in the Senate to actually go through with impeachment. Uh, okay. That being said, I think Democrats are going to have to focus much of their efforts if they want him out to get him out of office at, I, the, at the ballot box. I don't even know that that's even the point. I think uh, Republicans are having to deal with the fact that they've got decisions to make. Mm -hmm. Because when you leave your allies in a ditch, not even two weeks in, you're gone. You just wake up and you say, we're out. People are dying. And mm -hmm. even the Republicans, yeah, I think, upset. find this repugnant. And his base may be able to spin this, but here's what I always think of. This is why I don't believe in polls or anything else. Remember that man in Alabama, and everybody said, oh, he's going to end up oh, being, yeah. he's going to get, they're going to elect him. Mm -hmm. And all the women say, I'm going to vote Roy for him. Yeah, let's Roy I'm, gonna, I'm voting for him. That's Roy's my man. Mm -hmm. and, and what happened? Roy is not their man. Nobody... It was like you know what happened. Many black. black women came out and saved the day. Yeah. Well, that is true. So, that and, is, you know, and, and one of but, the things that happened in yeah. 2016 mm -hmm. is that you know African Americans, Latinos, that that Obama coalition from 2008 and 2012 did not get energized and did not come out to the same level. Look. Here's, here's what I think. This is getting uglier and uglier mm -hmm. by the day. There's more and yeah. more evidence. There's more revelations. It's not going away. We've no. now been speaking about it for three weeks, and we are still going to be speaking about it because we're now talking a criminal indictment. You are never going to convince Trump's base no. to drop him. When he said, I can shoot somebody on Fifth Avenue and they won't leave me, mm -hmm. I think he went to Pennsylvania Avenue and shot the Republican Party. Yeah. 
and yeah. they haven't left him. Yeah, it's true. But here's, here's what I would say to Republicans who, you know, this week are whining and crying and thrashing on the floor over the Kurds. He's doing this a year before the election. Yes. What do you think he will do if he gets reelected yeah. and doesn't even think about needing to get yes. another re-election? Yeah. And that, when all the breaks the, are that's off. That's the scary yeah. thing. But, you know, yeah. I will say this, getting back to our original point about, about Giuliani's um, friends uh, getting indicted. What was interesting to me, and I, I, call, I tell everybody, just read the document. You know, I always try to come with receipts. Please read the document. It's on the, it's on the web. Um, what's fascinating to me is that the uh, U.S. Attorney's Office in the Southern District, the Office of Public Corruption mm. is investigating it and charged him. The Office of Public Corruption is only involved when a public official is involved. Mm -hmm. Those two men, one is from is Ukrainian, the other one is from Belarus. Giuliani is not named in this indictment. Who is the public official that is at the center Apparently there are of two this investigation? Of them. There are two of them. Apparently so. Yes. So I can't I think, wait to find out who I is. can't wait. <laughs> so I think when you talk about is Giuliani in trouble, mm -hmm. you may not be able to, under DOJ policy, indict a sitting president. But you, but can you get certainly him. can indict Giuliani. And I'm surprised that he has not been indicted. Um, I think he needs to be very, very concerned. And what is fascinating to me is that he has admitted meeting with these two gentlemen that are the subject of the indictment. He is now saying that he represents them in another well, matter. And it's reported he was paid like hundreds of thousands yeah, of dollars. It's been by reported the that he was, wait, and you know, he was paid to represent their companies, allegedly, mm -hmm. which was yeah. called fraud guarantee. And there's a beautiful That's picture what the of the Ukrainian with company them. was called. Apparently, they named it after Trump. Fraud guarantee. So uh, we do have a, a must do. Giuliani said he represents Parnas and Fruman on a separate matter and said he finds it extremely suspicious that the arrest was made in connection with an FEC matter that has yet to be resolved. He acknowledged that both men logistically helped in his collection of evidence against Hunter Biden and that he will reveal relevant facts very shortly. You know, he says that a lot. He does. In a little while, I'm going to tell you what's going on. I he might does. tell you next week. But you know what? I think, again, people have to make a decision. Either you stand with the Constitution and right. how the mm -hmm. country and the president and all the president's men and women are supposed to act, or you're for the free form. Yeah. I'm not for the free form because I see that it, it has not worked in other countries. Yeah. We, it, as flawed as we are, we're still the best nation on the planet, I feel. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, I want to keep, I want the Constitution to stand. I believe in it. Yeah. You know, I believe in it. And, and I know we have to go, I, but... The only reason, I, I've spent a lot of times at these rallies. When I, when, in my previous job, I sat down at, at so many diners in this country talking to people that support the president. And what, yes. they will say, and what they would say right now is our unemployment is at 3.5%, lowest it's been since 1969. We are not currently at a war in this country. So take the rhetoric, put it aside, and this is what I care about. I care about putting food on the table for my children. But, yes, I just but, think but, but, but the farmers aren't saying is, that? You think no, the people not that the farmers that. Okay. aren't saying that? No. The people that are, are well, more paying people much have more jobs now in than taxes. They had I have to tell you, I go around on my bus because I, I don't like do. to fly. I I so I sit with a lot of people, too, and they're, they're not happy because they don't like how the country is now starting to feel like it's, it's, yeah. it's not, it, we're smoother than this. And I think people yeah. are just starting to go, hey, what, what is that? Let's kind of find out why that tire is leaking the way that it is. And I think it's America and we'll see yeah. what happens. We got, we got some time we're gonna go after. We'll be right back.